Steve with SciTech South Mississippi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an image or a PDF plan page from Trimble Business Center and bring it into SiteWorks and use it as a background image. On the screen here, you can see we have our this is our demo slash training site we have set up here in Jackson, Mississippi, where we're able to bring customers or potential customers out to demo excavators, dozers, or rover and data collector or UTS. We have a void zone set up and what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to take this to where I can have an image on the background so we can see kind of where this is at on in the world. So this site is already calibrated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my background image and you can see where we have in our avoidance zone we have trees and some vegetation as well as where our little road and our parking lot go right next to this modular building. As well as our pond. So what I'm going to do, first step, is I'm going to take, I have to draw a plot box around this area in order to screen capture this image behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12 <clears throat> and I'm going to type in create plot box. It comes up right there. So you can name this, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to go ahead and name it test for this purpose. Put it on layer plot box. And then what I'm going to do, I've already figured this out, but you can create, they have multiple paper sizes. You can do letter, legal, ledger, everything. What I've come up with on this project is I'm going to use a custom paper size and I'm going to do 15 inches by 15 inches. My location at my lower left corner, I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to press add. And you can see where it puts my plot box right here. Everything is encompassing the plot box. Everything looks good. I'm, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now what we're going to do is we need an image capture. So if you type in image, it comes up capture image right here. Pull that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a JPEG. And we're going to put it on our desktop. We're going to call it test and save. Resolution, I haven't really messed around with the resolution too much. I used to try to do a very high resolution because I'm not doing such a big picture. Uh, plot box option, select it. If you select test, it highlights your plot box and then you press apply. And what it's going to do is it's going to save that image right here. So now we can exit out of this. We can minus out Triple Business Center. So when it comes up, you'll, it gives you three uh, pieces that come out of Business Center, three files. One's a JPEG, one's a JGW, and one is a test.kml. The KML we don't really need. What we're going to do is we're going to use this JGW file and the JPG file. Those two have to be put together inside of the folder structure of your computer in order for this to overlay correctly on your project. So what I'm going to do now... So I'm running an emulator in Triple Business Center. I'm going to open up where my emulator is. My, all my projects are saved. So I'm going to Triple Synchronizer Data under PC, SCS 100 Data, and then in that project, this project that I have created is called Pucket 80. And you'll see in here there's another folder called Background Images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that Background Images. I already have a couple images saved in there. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus this out. I'm going to come back and get my JPEG and my JGW file. I'm going to copy these two and I'm going to paste them into this background images folder. And as you can see, it kind of gives you a, a picture of what we're looking at right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to exit out of this. We're going to open up uh, SiteWorks. Our emulator. All right, now that we have SiteWorks open, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our, our project that we're working on, which is Pucket 80. And we're going to use Finish Design, Work Order, and Finish Design. Design. So we're going to open that up, and it's going to tell you that there's a avoidance zone been loaded, which you'll be able to see in just a second. There's my avoidance zone. Now you can see I have my line work on here. It's the same line work that I had. In Business Center, and what we're going to do 
to load our image since our image was already placed in our background images folder we're going to go to settings we're going to go to images and you can see it's not checked for display great background image we're going to check that and our background image we're going to use is test this is the one we just created it's image transparency is 60 percent 60 percent is fine you can play with that adjust that you can use it as you want to I like 60% and when you come in here and you can see zoom in a little bit it will see our background image that we created in Business Center so if we kind of play with the transparency a little bit we go back to image images you can change it say 90% which makes it a little bit darker a little bit easier to see you can still see all your line work, everything is still good. And that's how you place an image. You can, like I said, we have other images in here that I've already created before. You can create multiple images. The only downside, it, as of right now, is you can only open up one image at a time. So if you have a long linear project, such as a roadway, and you're importing your plan pages in there, you have to do one piece at a time, one page at a time, or one depending on how much detail you want, how much you're zoomed into the actual project, you're not able to load more than one image as of now. So if you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave it in the description below and we'll get back with you. See you in the next video. Thanks.